Oklahoma State coming off of a victory. Same with Kansas, with Mark Helfrich, Dean Blandino, our rules expert, Jeff Lembering with you. Perfect day for football. Wind is going to be a factor today, as it always is in Stillwater. Oklahoma State trying to continue their dominance at home against Kansas, even though the Jayhawks got a victory in this series last year that came down in Lawrence. 63 degrees at our kickoff and plenty of breeze blowing from west to east. Beautiful day. Beautiful day at Boone Pickens. A little bit of wind down on the field, a ton up here in the press box. Yeah, we are even with the light standards. <laughs> High atop Boone Pickens Stadium. Fans are well lathered up. Good number of Jayhawk faithful making the four hour drive down from Lawrence. You can see that wind being a factor already as the ball fell off the tee. Tabor Allen back to kick it away for Kansas. Brendan Presley hoping for an opportunity for a return. So. Allen from the Big 12 logo. Off we go from Stillwater. Returnable for Presley. Tries it right side and near the 35 yard line. And into the Kansas bench. And we will see the Oklahoma State offense come on the field first. And it's senior Alan Bowman making another start for the Cowboys. Yeah, Bowman had his best game yet last week in the victory over K-State. They did a great job in the RPO game. But they got to score touchdowns today to match this KU offense. Five field goals last week in their victory over K-State. Bowman out of the shotgun, back to pass, setting up the screen. They get it to Ollie Gordon in space following his blockers. He's at past the 40 into KU territory near the 30-yard line. Big play number one for the Cowboys offense. Huge drive starter, game start. He got this amped up defense, amped up crowd. Great opening call by Casey Dunn. A little screen game. Get your best running back, Ollie Gordon, in space. And just like last week, big old huge play down. Now on the kind of on the fringe of the red zone, can they convert? 50 yards on the opening play of the game. Play fake to Gordon. Going in zone and complete. He's trying to get it to Brennan Presley. Second down and 10. Yeah, Mello Dodson had a chance there to pick that ball off. Good tempo on that ball by Alan Bowman. It became a throw. But they got to get Presley the ball to try that early often or early and often the return games one way jet sweep is one way certainly those slot slot fades another pitch to the outside Gordon slips one and then brought down Marvin Grant on the stop gain of five it'll be third down and five for Oklahoma State take a look at the offense the Cowboys They're really excited about the development of Dalton Cooper again these front five guys had their best week last week. Resulted in a win. Ollie Gordon on the ground and through the air. Very effective. Dalton Cooper, the left tackle, making just his third ever start at left tackle. Bowman back to pass. Past the middle. It's caught. Slipping a couple of tackles is Presley. And it'll be a first down. That first missed tackle allowing Presley to pick up a fresh set of downs. Great tempo on this ball by Alan Bowman. Putting it right on Presley. Watch him read through a little shallow cross concept. They're building a triangle right over it in the zone. Good job getting that first down. Tempo to the outside, wide open. Touchdown, Ollie Gordon and the Cowboys. A great statement on the opening drive for Oklahoma State. Just a dropped coverage right here. You have Ollie Gordon out of the backfield. Nobody peels. Nobody overlaps. Nothing but green turf to the end zone. Alex Hale for the extra point. What a drive for Oklahoma State right out of the chute. 
Not even two minutes of elapsed time, and it was an Ollie Gordon show. Just a dream start. Great protection. It started with great protection. Play quarterback with him. They're bringing an inside backer right there. That looks like 90. Jeremy Robinson has to peel. I mean, peel off the rush and cover zero. Ollie Gordon to the flat. Alan Bowman doing a, a pseudo little Michael Penix Jr. something there in the quiver. That's not a pistol Pete, but that's good. First receiving touchdown of the year for Ollie Gordon. Just five plays to cover 77 yards in just a minute and 25 seconds. Two big catches for Gordon covering 67 of those yards. The first punch landed by Oklahoma State. And now we get this run game from Kansas. Logan Ward set to kick it away for the Cowboys. Trevor Wilson is back and another ball off the tee. Two for two on the, on the <laughs> gust. This is one of the largest flags I've ever seen. And it's going to take a lot of wind to move that thing. It's moving a little bit. Yeah, right into that kicker's face if it's felt down there, which by the look of that ball twice, it is. Into the wind. On the return, a nice open field tackle just short of the 20-yard line. Tory Lachlan on the return. Ty Williams in on it as well. And for Kansas, 5-1, number 23 in the country, Jason Bean, the starting quarterback for the second consecutive week. Jason Bean can roll. 10 600 meter guy in high school. He can really go the strength of this offense. Devin Neal, Daniel Hyshaw. We'll see both those guys in there together at running back and up front against this three down defense from Oklahoma State. Start with Neal to the right of Bean. Run the option. There's Neal following blockers. Good gain of six yards on first down. Kansas offense, they've been rolling almost 400 rushing yards last week. Yeah, they've been awesome. This front, the right side in particular, watch for Junior and Cable do rolling things, setting the table in the, for this option game. And we talked about Daniel Highshot Junior. Mike Gundy called him a miss. He said, hey, man, he's an Oklahoma guy. We didn't offer him a scholarship, and he's really good. So much pre-snap movement from the Jayhawks. Bean to pass, felt the pressure, gets it to the outside, catch made, first down. Lawrence Arnold on the catch, the first down for the Jayhawks. This Oklahoma State defense gonna have their hands full. Yes, they are. As you said, the most pre-step motion in America. Colin Clay, his, his job is to wad it up. 6-3, 3-10, draws a bunch of double teams. Nick Martin was outstanding last week. 17 tackles, one sack, one interception. He'll be sideline to sideline, they're going fast. Cameron Epps, two picks. Neal's got it. Left side, met right at the line of scrimmage. You just mentioned his name, Nick Martin, tackle number one. And that's exactly what happened. They wadded up on the inside. These guys don't get assists. You don't get an assist to tackle, but watch him run unscathed over the top and show right there. He's unblocked because of the double team on Colin Clay. It's Latu, Walter Scheid eating so many of those blocks. See those 17 tackles last week. Most for a Cowboys in 16. Second and 10, Neal in the backfield. Gets it again right side. Trying to bleed through those blockers. Very little on second down and 10. Give him two yards, so a third and long for Kansas. Absolutely not where Kansas wants to operate. Tip of the cap to that big cowboy hat of Pistol Pete to this OSU defense. This is where they want to operate. Confuse Jason Bean and create turnovers. Get this crowd into it. Kansas has been unbelievable on third down this year. Sixth best in FBS. Better than 53% conversion rate on third down. They're looking at third and eight. To the outside. Looking Fairchild's way incomplete. 
Martin out there in coverage. Fourth down, and here comes the punter. Watch Martin in coverage. As you said, a little out, outside leverage has helped to that inside and all over it. He says, not today. Gave up that first down, but nothing more. This has been a Kansas team that has operated so well on their first drives. Unable to come away with points. Oh, punt almost got it blocked. Takes a Jayhawks roll inside the 20-yard line and settles in at the 17. Got a good roll, Oklahoma State with a 7-0 lead at home, taking on the 23rd-ranked Jayhawks. More from Boone Pickens when we come back. We said this punt nearly got blocked. Well, how about the ring finger of the backup safety, Cam Franklin? He did get it, got a nice roll. Gordon gets it on first down and bottled up short gain. There's that front for the Jayhawks. Gain of one for Ollie Gordon. Both defenses want, want the quarterbacks to win through the air, force them to beat them through the air. Just turn it to, to an inside drill. There were nine, ga nine guys in the box on both sides. A lot of tempo. Palm into the outside. Catch made. Rashad Owens with his first catch. He had five last week against K State for 75 yards. Going fast, but nice little out cut, little speed cut. Great tempo and spot by Bowman. Bowman back at it. Goes to the outside again. Another connection. That was with Owens. Bowman off to a hot start. Yeah, he is. They're doing a nice job. Just base stuff. You see the out, that shallow cross on the conversion to Presley. Quick game right here. Just easy stuff. Kansas will give you the easy stuff if you're patient enough to stick with it. Second and short. Hand off to Gordon. And a stutter step to the 45-yard line. First down again for the Cowboys. Talking to Coach Gundy the other day, he said, hey, man, we used to be an awful run team. His words, not mine. Now we're decent. What is it? Ollie Gordon. That guy's playing great. Gordon gets it again, tries the right side, and brought down at 50. Second and four is where they want to live. Any, they can do anything here. Pound the rock. RPOs take a shot. The full game plan open. Offensive coordinator, Casey Dunn. Last week, very balanced against K-State. There's Gordon right down the middle. Another first down past the 35-yard line. Already the third catch for Gordon. That one good for 18. Great design right now. They're going fast again here. Just a nice little leap route with patience and sell by both Bowman and Gordon. Bowman looking for help and finally throws it into the third row. Throw away. They went for a little double move, the little screen, and go up top. There's Mike Gundy, kind of the mayor of the Big 12 Conference these days, looking for win number 160 in his long tenure in Stillwater. Second to who? Only Kirk, Kirk Ferentz, probably, right? Coming to the outside. Catch made. Presley on the catch. Survived the big hit from Craig Young. 14 yards and a first down. This is a question about Bowman. Will he stand in there and take a shot? Answer right there and a great job holding on to it. Finishing the process of the catch by Brennan Presley. It's Kenny Logan that was in the grill of Bowman. Delivered a good ball to the outside. Flicker. Bowman gets it outside. Presley slips one, slips two. End zone. Any way you can get that guy the ball, he was the guy who had the initial pitch back to Bowman. Ended up making the catch for six. 
Just a great job here, selling it on the action. Little alumni play, getting Presley involved here all over the map. Sell it, get it back to Bowman. They're covered downfield. He reacts, checks it down, get it to your athlete. Great job involving Presley early. Dream start here in Stillwater. Another extra point. Makes it 14-0 Oklahoma State. Two super impressive drives. A lot of yak in this game. The yards after the catch. Presley finds the end zone. Third touchdown of the year. 14-0 Cowboys. All right, here's the touchdown. Just great protection and great patience from Bowman. Look at the back end. They're trying to catch him off, right? Trying to catch him undisciplined. They're not. They do a great job playing out of it. A two-man route, max protection. Bowman says, oh, I'll get it to my guy. He'll do his thing in space. Makes two guys miss. Ton of green grass. Great finish. One of two. Great checkdowns right there. Great patience from Bowman. The check down to Gordon on the design play. There it's, we're going to take a shot. Nope. Check it down. Touchdown. You mentioned Bowman having the best game of his season last week against K-State. Didn't throw a touchdown. We talked to Mike Gundy. He said, listen, we had so many field goals, so many opportunities last week. We could have won that game by way more yeah. than what we did. Two drives, two touchdowns for this Cowboys offense. And it took away a ton of confidence. And, you, know, you heard Will Howard say last week, hey, we just, we overlooked them. We overlooked, just flat out overlooked them. Mike Gundy and staff have done a great job preparing this team over the last two weeks. Into the wind, out of the hold, it'll be a touchback. We'll see if Kansas can get their running game going. This dynamic duo of Highshaw and Neal as good as it gets in college football. You know, these guys are fun to watch. Again, it's all the eye candy, right? All the stuff. Look over here. We're shifting. We're motioning. Our quarterback can run. But the hammer, Devin Neal. Look at that. 7.7 .7 yards per carry. 6.9 from Highshaw. And, and you can see Oklahoma State is committed to make Beam beat them throwing the football. Neal had three carries on their first possession for just eight yards. Beam running the option, gets to the outside. Great pursuit. Gain of just one. Tackle made by Colin Oliver on the backside. A lot of bodies in the backfield. Better wearing orange jerseys. Great job setting the edge there. Running through to get to his gap was Kendall Daniels. Getting blocked by Jared Casey on the edge, but he turned it back to his partner. Now, how can Kansas create what Oklahoma State has done? Wins in the pass game. Give again up the middle. Neal able to slither his way near a first down. Third down and one after a gain of nine. This is what he's he just so patient, so patient and powerful. A 7.7 .7 yard average. He got, what, nine right there. Great run, getting skinny. A well-deserved drink. Says High Shot get this first down for him. High Shot averaging nearly seven yards a carry as well. To the outside, catch me! What a play! Staying in bounds and finally out near the 45-yard line. Jared Casey on the one-hand reception. The Texas killer from the Texan Jason Bean. There's the flash fake into the flat, and wow, does he make the quarterback look good. That's how you help out your backup quarterback on the road. Down 14. Huge conversion. Trey Rucker with a big hit on Casey, able to hang on. Fresh set of downs for KU. Handoff up the middle now. They've got the run game churning. That's 10 and a first down. Devin Neal starting to get his legs activated. You just don't get all the gaps covered there. Neal will make you pay. And now KU going fast. Empty backfield. Bean feeling the pressure. Bean Not going in. deep. Caught. Made a man miss. Touchdown, Kansas. Trevor Wilson. Perfect 
response for the Jayhawks. Big time response. Watch the protection. It starts as a three-man rush. A win on the edge against Cable Do. Great job keeping your eyes up, looking downfield. Great finish by Trevor Wilson, one of many Buffalo transfers who came with Coach Lightbird. Rucker, the safety was in coverage on Wilson. The extra point by Keller is blocked. Flag is out. Check on the laundry. Yeah, I think they were just lined up offside there. Offside. Defense number 73. Half the distance to the goal. We're going to replay the try. Kevin Barr, our official. One more chance for Keller. Yeah, you see that the, the end man on the line of scrimmage was lined up. That was eight and then seven. Jumped. So one was lined up and one jumped. Take your pick. One more try. Keller. No issues there to make it 14 7. Trevor Wilson finds the end zone for Kansas. Second touchdown of the year. Got a ball game. It's still water. Two more great matchups coming up next on FS1. First K-State battles Texas Tech in a showdown in the Mountain West as Boise State faces Colorado State. Keep it locked right here for more college football action coming up next on FS1. A shootout, yeah. fittingly. I hope, you had the, I hope you had the first quarter over, right? <laughs> Making a lot of money right now. Three of the best running backs in the conference. Four possessions, three touchdown passes. Just as we drew it up, right? And sails into the end zone for a touchback. Almost taken out the Jayhawk on the far side. How about Alan Bowman, the way he's been able to start eight out of 10 and being okay with the check down? Absolutely. Co Coach Casey down offensive corner said, we've got to be patient. I've got to be patient. Play through Alan Bowman. They took a couple shots. Great job checking the ball down first. We saw the one to Ollie Gordon for a big chunk and Brennan and Presley to the end zone. They've already surpassed their touchdown total of last week. We talked about all the field goals that they got last week against K-State. Had a defensive touchdown. End zone twice. Wide receiver screen to the outside. A good open field tackle in the middle. Jaden Bray on the reception. Gain of four. O.J. Burrows on the stop. A ton of respect for this Kansas defense there without Hayden Hatcher today. Austin Booker in. First play of the game, screen, another drive starter screen right there. You see a little respect for this defense. Bowman inside, slant! There goes Owens, finally tripped up just outside the 30-yard line. Owens having a whale of a first quarter. That one good for 40 yards. Great execution. It's just Owens, one-on-one -on -one outside on the slant. Beats him across his face and another chunk play. Bowman checks it down to the outside. Gordon on the catch. Hit hard. Cornell Wheeler on the stop. Touchdown saving tackle by O.J. Burrows oh, on Owens. Yes. yes. That pre, the, pre, the next play right now, the first down play here was another screen. Oh and go so you see a, again another theme from Casey Dunn screens to get it started can I take a shot no check it down second and ten. <laughs> to the outside Blaine Green on the out route out of bounds mark him down to the 14 yard line Just an out route, the go route on the outside to protect it. And Green is thick, 6'1", 220. Using every ounce right here. Casey Dunn talked about getting Green more involved this week. Had one catch for 10 yards against K-State. Dalton Cooper just came out there injured. Looks like Cole Birmingham will slide in 
in that spot at left tackle. Gordon on the carry. Birmingham the backup at both left tackle and right tackle. It is a thin tackle group. Birmingham's the guy for both sides. There's 6'5", 325. More tempo. Dangerous pass. Somehow Green able to haul it in and survive the hit from Kobe Bryant. And this is an RPO. This is where every running back and every O-line coach in America just hand the ball off. Watch Ollie Gordon right here. He got a five-man box, five to block him. Just hand it off. Just hand it off. Oh, boy. Everybody had their hearts in their throats. Opportunity to sub out for Kansas. Switch up the defense. Keys heading to the sideline. Bowman to the outside. Nearly intercepted. That was Bryant again. Back-to-back -back good plays by Kobe Bryant. That one may have gone to the distance if he hangs on. And you saw him against BYU. He did the do-it-yourself. Force fumble, scoop and score. Eyes on Bowman. He can't believe it. Came out late and hit him in stride. Mm. Will that come back to haunt him? This drive stalls. At the 11-yard line from 28 yards for Alex Hale. Hale puts it through. At five field goals last week. And the Wake Skate champion adds three more. Back in Stillwater, we're going to go to the film room and take a look at one of the staples of this KU run game. The counterplay, watch Jared Casey blocking the backside as Michael Ford Jr. And Cable do on the pull, a kick out, a wrap, and a crease for Devin Neal. He does the rest. That's another scheme that'll work very well against this OSU defense. Lance Leipold has turned this program around. Last year started out so well, started out 5-1, and one, and then the injury to Jalen Daniels kind of derailed their season. Off to another 5-1 and one start this year. Able to hold Oklahoma State to a field goal on that last drive. Booming kick into the end zone for a touchback. And Lance Leipold, what he's been able to do to turn this program around, that is not a typo. Yeah. That point differential is not a typo from 16 to 21. And then what he and his crew have been able to do over the last couple of years. That's a ton of math right there. Yeah, that's the, I was told there'd be no math. This guy's a great football coach. Obviously, a great job at Buffalo, Wisconsin, Whitewater. Tremendous back, background at the University of Wisconsin. Defensive background, tough, disciplined. These guys will compete to the end. Six national championships at Wisconsin, Whitewater. Six losses in eight years. Kind of a tough pitch held on to by Neal. No gain, maybe a loss of half a yard. Xavier Benson on the stop. Xavier Benson is fun to watch. Not if you're a KU fan, but he's in the back. Here, another job set in the edge at time by Trey Rucker, turning the business back inside. Just a speed option there, not a triple option. So in that case, Bean has a two for one. He can kick it or keep it. Either way, second and ten. Tyshawn alone, setback. He gets it. Met. And dropped a combination plate of Kendall Daniels and Nick Martin. Cable to trying to work that backside and just they get just out athlete. Watch the right tackle 77 working up. Let's take the first thing that shows and let the running back run off it. Kind of he hesitates on that backside just for a second. That's where Daniels and Martin say, hey, we're better athletes than you. Get this dude on the ground. Another third and long. Wilson, the motion man, Bean over the middle, caught, and a first down. Mason Fairchild, I think he caught the back half of that football. Yeah, he did. It was a great adjustment by Fairchild. Watch the dropper, a little pop out coming right underneath Fairchild. That was Benson underneath it. I think Bean just got to adjust off that. Well done by Fairchild. Last drive prior to the touchdown was a big catch by Jared Casey, the tight end. Now Fairchild on third down to extend this drive. 
This tight end group is awesome. They do, they do a little bit of everything really, really well. Go to the outside. That's Fairchild again. Another first down. Including stretch to the flat, catch it on the move, and pick up another first down. And you can take a deep breath here at the quarter break. Well, if you like scoring, this was the place for you. One quarter in, 17-7. Pistol Pete, the Cowboys out in front. Jayhawks are on the move. All right, back at Stillwater, I want to take a second here to give a shout out to a person I'm lucky to call a friend. And for the past few months, it's been a tough, a tough battle for this dude to miss diagnoses, trying to figure out what the opponent was, and leukemia was the diagnosis. And leukemia has no chance against this dude, and not against this great family, not against all the great vibes coming from him. Uh, just a great person that will inspire people everywhere with his attitude. His toughness and mood. I love you, and there's millions of people in your corner. Great comments made by Lance Leipold as we chatted with him about Matt Lubick, about the fact that when he found out the diagnosis, he checked into the hospital. The first thing he looked for, the Wi Fi password, <laughs> so that he could keep going to work. That is the kind of intensity yeah. he has. Yeah. Unbelievable preparer. Whether it's marathons or run game or passing game. And a better guy. Second down and very long. Being a little shovel inside. Getting close to the original line of scrimmage. Neal with the catch, a gain of five, and a big third down. They've been able to convert on the last couple of third downs. Daniels in on the stop again for Oklahoma State. Biggest difference there between. Oklahoma State and, and Kansas State is those tackles in space. Daniel's doing a great job getting those backs on the ground, whether it's the check down to Gordon, the check down to Presley being very productive for Oklahoma State. Third and 13 from the 43-yard line. Bringing some pressure, trying to get to the outside. Catch made, and a first down by Lawrence Arnold. Perfect pass by Bean to move the sticks. Exactly that. Great protection. This is the prove it throw right here for Bean on third down. He's protected. Got a little twist game coming late in his face. Nice ball. Execution spot to Lawrence Arnold. The double toe tap. Yeah, just Clean. grabbing the dragging that toe just for good measure. Load up the right side of the formation. Neal gets it around the outside. Big gain on first down. Pick up nine. Arma J. Reed Adams, the one that sprung him free. A little unbalanced four by one. Stretch with Puller setting the edge. Getting this going for Kansas. Got him. Bean down the middle. Nobody there. Touchdown. KU Mason Fairchild. First touchdown of the year for Fairchild. Kansas right back in it. Great design by this K-State staff. There's the tight end aligned at the tackle spot. They start the previous play as a four by none unbalanced into the boundary. Get to that, that's the old uh, Gus Malzahn special. Right, dials that up once or twice a month, it seems like. Great execution, great answer from the Jayhawks. Not just the first quarter thing. Offense bleeding into the second quarter. Had a little motion there from the kicker. Kicker yeah. Keller. <laughs> a false start there. False start. Kicking team. Number 91. Five yard penalty. We'll replay the try. I think our guy, uh, Kevin Marr, right there was like, wait, yeah, I, I saw that. That was, that was weird. Just a little flinch. Maybe the snap was a little bit late. There's been some issues on. In the kicking game on both sides, some porous protection, alignments. See how much that pays a plays a part. A little further try for Keller. That one blocked.
First missed extra point of the year for Seth Keller. The extra five yards, a big deal. It's felt, yeah, it's felt just discombobulated from the start. Had the penalty, a little bit of a low kick, but a better job getting that big mutt, mutt from Xavier Ross. Big block kick against Kansas. I mean, there have been some fingertips getting involved in this one in this first half, huh, Mark? Yeah, this is the third kick or punt. You see the flinch from Keller. That one was good. I said, now we got to do that one over. And then Xavier Ross, that big left hand on the knockdown. A little bit of a low kick, probably, but just a great effort by Ross. Right now making that a four-point differential. Coach Lightfoot will have a little discussion during that time out of all his special teams people. Returnable for Presley. Go up the left side with space, with blockers, and out of bounds, out past the 35-yard line. Presley just looks rejuvenated, getting those catches going early. The return game looks better. Had a little sideline return. Nice escort. Go, Pokes. Presley already a touchdown in this game. Bowman has only missed on three passes. Over 200 yards through the air already for Alan Bowman. Bowman to give. Gordon looking for space, not finding any. And a loss of one on first down. Yeah, Bowman has been doing his best Brandon Wheaton impression today, throwing it all over the yard, playing like the experienced guy that he is, and scoring touchdown, touchdown field goal on every drive. Big Trump plays that one batted away. Caleb Taylor got his paw on it to knock it down. Third down and long for OK State. See him lined up right around Jason Brooks, not getting home, has eyes on Bowman. Great job getting that off. Watch the right hand shed and get that Jayhawk logo right on the ball. Kansas looking for their first stop of the game. This has really been a great response by this KU team. Down 14 nothing. Crowds into it. Shipping it back to 17-13. And flags stopping this play. A little bit late, a false start penalty. False start. Offense number five. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Jaden Bray, the receiver. Just a little, a little head for them to stop that play. Yeah, just get a little head start there. That third and third and twelve. You need a little. Go ahead, start. But now your reward is third and 17. He's the wide man up top. Yeah, no doubt about that one. Bowman stepping up, running out of time, and down he goes. Cornell Wheeler on the sack. Great job, just an effort sack, four-man rush. They've zoned everything out. Bowman does a good job of pulling the ball down, protecting it, not making a bad play worse right there, and kick it away. DJ Withers with the initial pressure to open up the sack opportunity for Wheeler. It's his first sack of the season and the first punt of the game for Oklahoma State. Wes Paul, the wind at his back, it's a Oklahoma State roll inside the 30-yard line. KU with a chance to potentially take a lead with a score. 50-yard punt. KU's defense showing some teeth. All right, back at Oklahoma State, going back to that previous touchdown to Mason Fairchild. There he is, aligned at the left tackle spot. Bryce Cable, who every right tackle's dream out there on the 30. That makes it legal because Trevor Wilson is on the ball. They don't throw a forward pass to Cable, do. Hard to recognize for that Oklahoma State defense touchdown. I mean, just incredible to try and recognize that. You had it the entire way. Why that's a legal play, even though he's lined up on the line of scrimmage as the yep. left tackle. Those outside receivers were both off. Arnold was out there on the, on the left side, the same side. As Fairchild. Bean back to pass. 
Good catch and run into Oklahoma State territory. There's Arnold again. Really Third catch of the game. Really well done here by Bean. Great job leading it. Great job in protection. You see him stemming inside, working inside of that leverage of Cam Smith. Nice throw and catch from not a pure drop back passer to Jason Bean. KU after that opening drive, they have been on a roll offensively. Seven for his last seven. The proof right there on your screen. Bean pulls it back. He's got his man again. Fairchild is second of the game, and KU's got the lead. what happens the byproduct all week long stop the run 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 on the bluff now play safety right here with Daniels he's got his eyes in the back of we're stopping oh no over the top touchdown number two for Fairchild first two touchdowns of the year Fairchild now with four catches 94 yards and two scores we're gonna go for two is not successful. So two-point lead for Kansas. Fairchild's got another one untouched into the end zone. This is the missed point after attempt. The holder, Braden Addison, had a tough hold, and it was not their regular kicker, Seth Keller, trying the attempt either. It was Owen Kapurgidis. Easy for you to say. Well done. That looked like Bring Lucy and Carly Brown. Yeah, no doubt. And another a tough sign here. For, thing, yeah. Yeah, a tough sign for Kansas as Lawrence Arnold getting taped up on the sidelines. Picking into the wind, returnable. Balls out. 20 balls out and a good recovery. Nixon is unable to jump on it. Just did a great job staying with his guy. That's why you got to play through it. That ball comes out and he is right on it and now backed up to start things off. Collins a little loose with that ball, that elbow outside. Wrist below the elbow, ball is out. Caleb Purdy was the one that forced it. So inside the 15-yard line from the 13, Oklahoma State comes on their last drive. Nixon in the backfield. Nixon gets it, and he is dropped. Trey, I should say Booker there on the stop. Five combined touchdowns on eight possessions and all the touchdowns through the air. Go to the outside again. Nixon, second straight run and driven out of bounds by Colin Oliver. Rich Miller, I beg your pardon. Yeah, Birmingham is still in it. Right tackle, 61 Springfield in. Dalton Cooper, not, not great that he's not in there at left tackle. Trying to run for it, upended. Melo Dotson coming up from the corner to make the stop. Fourth and short. Both of these corners, man, they're not huge, especially Kobe Bryant, but they are physical, physical, physical. They play against their run game all day long. Dotson right there, a huge stop on third down. A little small pockets of blue jerseys. The far east side of the end zone cheering for this punt attempt. Kansas forcing another three and out. Paul to punt it away. Wilson, fair catch called for and able to secure it. Good field position for Oklahoma State. And listen, there has been a constant in the Mike Gundy era here at Oklahoma State. It has not been that way for Kansas. Is the constant great hair? <laughs> the hair evolution is amazing for Mike Gundy, no doubt. But Kansas had plenty of different coaches. Clint Bollinger just for one year, and David Beatty took over. 
the hair of Mike Gunn yeah. just keeps it goes out of style, better. comes back, co he goes out, goes out, comes back. Uh, Lance Leipold now has done such a great job in Lawrence. He's behind Kirk Ferentz for the longest tenured coaches in Power Five. Bean out to the outside and nowhere to run for Fairchild after the catch. Trey Rucker on the stop. Trey Rucker just bring in the noise. Wrap that man up next time, but a lot of big hits coming at us. Second here, it's Kendall Daniels, Trey Rucker. You see in the corners of Kansas. Great job on the tackle. Tackle for you. Slight gain. But Fairchild will remember that one. Great job securing the ball. Tough to bring down 6'4, 260. Bean to pass, looking middle, and Fairchild couldn't bring that one in. It's just that basic type of throw and catch, play catch, a little zone stop route by Fairchild. Had Neal and Highshaw in the backfield at the same time. Everybody thinking it's a triple option, some sort of funk. Had a chance to get a chuck back and another third and long for Kansas. We have not had back-to-back -back stops in this game for defense on either club. Kansas three for four on third down. Bean. Incomplete. He's looking for Arnold. Good to see him back on the field. E.J. McKinney on the coverage, and that forces a punt. Great coverage by McKinney, but definitely a little hitch in that giddy-up for Arnold. Didn't have that same burst ability to go up and get that or separate. Big stop by the Pokes. Just the eighth three and out this season for Kansas. Oklahoma State's going to bring the house. Reeves got it away. Good kick. Into the wind and great open field tackle. Tori Lachlan on the stop right at the catch. Well, tomorrow on Fox, the ALCS begins. Corey Seager and the Rangers look to continue their incredible run as they take on Jordan Alvarez and the reigning champion Houston Astros. The battle for the Lone Star State to represent their clubs in the World Series. Catch it at 1 tomorrow at 8 Eastern on Fox. The football before that with the 49ers and Browns, Eagles and Jets. Check your local listings. Inside, a good tackle in the open field yet again. Josiah Johnson on the reception. Gain of two on the play is Melo Dotson with another good tackle. This is called a crack replace. This guy goes down and blocks and cracks down. Great fill by Dotson. To the outside, short of first down yardage. Catch made by Owens. It's his fourth catch in the game. J.B. Brown on the stop. Gain of five. Brings up a third down. Oklahoma State had ten first quarter first downs. That's a zero in the second quarter thus far. Great response by this Kansas program. Get it to Gordon. First first down of the second quarter. <laughs> Gordon says, I got you, I got you. Third and three, great operational down for this system. Give the big man the ball, double teams up front. Nice job on the edge by Rashad Owens getting the block. Big first down, gets off that schneid. And Jason Brooks, the left guard with a couple of blocks to move him forward, signaling for first down. Check down, Gordon with another catch across the 50 down to the 45 yard line. 13 yards for Gordon through the air, his fifth catch of the game. Yeah, nice design again. That's just the same thing they ran going the other direction in the first quarter. Pre designed check down. For the middle, and he missed his man. 
He was looking for Presley. Saying he got held in the route. Yeah, Marvin, Marvin Grant was in coverage, and I think he just ends up tripping. Watch four. Try to match Presley on the crossing route. A little, a little bit of a there's no there's no contact there. Kind of pushes off on him. He was asking for a hold. No, a no hold. I was wrong. It's never happened before. <laughs> but today and today only, that's a hold. Just another one. Trying to get it to Presley. Should say Green. Green was that first receiver. Presley was right behind him. Had two guys out in the same spot in the route. Yeah, it's a little option route. And Green zagged, and Bowman thought he was going to zig. Third and ten. Picked up the last third down. Now they're in the plus side of the field. Overloading that left side of protection. Challenging Springfield. Flushed out, out of the pocket, fourth and ten. Jeremy Robinson with the pressure. They overload the left side of that offensive line and look on the right side. He says, all right, Birmingham, you're the backup. Come here. Jeremy Robinson, I'm going to post you. Set that edge and a good throw away from Alan Bowman. Check this out on the other side. A little grappling there by Kobe Bryant. The short yardage punter, Hudson Cock. Trying to pin the Jayhawks deep. Right off the side of his foot. Go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Time for today's Chasing the Rings. It's sponsored by K. Celebrate every moment with K. There's Mike Gundy, most wins their current school. Saban with win number 200 today is Crimson Tide held on to beat Arkansas. Kirk Ferentz taking on Wisconsin this afternoon. Dabo Sweeney and then, of course, Mike Gundy and all the different hairstyles. <laughs> Looking for win number 160 in his great career. In Stillwater. Gotta get the Clemson look today for Oklahoma State. Look, you do. Tribute. From the 14 yard line for Kansas. Neal gets it on first down. Very short game. Nathan Latu, first man to bring him down. They are very fired up about that man. Colin Clay just wads it up, wads it up. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Not a big stat guy, but just opens up everybody else to get on the stat board. He totally embraces that role, too. Yeah. You look up and you go, where are my stats? Well, the guys behind me are the ones cleaning exactly. up the tackles yeah. and picks and forced fumbles. So the coaches have to celebrate it, and the teammates have to see it in the film room. Bean running out of time, and he's brought down. Sack. KU's going backwards. Trying to set up a little corner post to Trevor Wilson, and he was clean right down the middle, but not so fast. Oliver was there first, just a little delayed pressure. Great effort to rip him down. All over the speed game pass, Michael Ford. Third down from Lawrence for third, KU. Yeah, third in the panhandle right here. Had to get it away to defeat the play clock. Delay. Delay game. Offense. Half the distance to the goal. Third down. Did not beat the play clock. See the play clock down the bottom right-hand corner. Delay. That was a quick administration of that. They usually, give them, yeah, they usually give them that little extra tick. Tough to get back just to see it. Yeah, for that official to get their eyes from yeah. that play clock and then back down to the snap. It was usually that little split second. Being to the outside. 
Very conservative call. Yes. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. Luke Grimm made the catch, but here comes a punting unit for Kansas. And a good, good job being smart, conservative, whatever that right word is. Take care of your quarterback. You've already, you know, tough drive. Don't make it worse. Don't give him extra momentum here with four minutes and counting. Getting out of your own end zone, yep. too. Some room to operate for Greaves. Special teams have been eventful. Into the wind. They just parachuted on him. Fair catch called for. Really, really good field position for Oklahoma State. Well, Fox has made a $1 million donation to United Jewish Appeal as they mobilized to provide urgent relief to those impacted by the atrocities in Israel. If you would like to join Fox with your support, visit www.ujafedny.org. Oklahoma State has punted on their last three possessions. Start from their own 47-yard line. Catchmate Presley. Give him a first down. Gain of 11 for Presley. Great execution there by Alan Bowman again. An RPO that time. It's a counter action, counter play. Presley running to the space, presenting himself. Bang, bang, first down. That's just a one-man read for Bowman. Great design, great execution. Bowman's having a great first half. Touchdowns on the first two drives of this game. Third one netted a field goal. Gordon's got it. Tons of room to run up the middle. Through the air, one on the ground for Gordon. Gordon's gonna score the touchdown. Watch 90 Cassidy. Cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it back by young Gordon. House call. Stiff arm of Dotson. Very well executed by the Cowboys. Defense forcing the three and out. They turn that into points in the short field. Gordon having another whale of a game. Oklahoma State 24, Kansas 19, 171 total yards for Gordon in the first half. Give that man the rock, right? Whether it's the handoff, this is a screen, the opening play of the day, a chunk play, setting up their first touchdown. Right here, a little inside turn. That is the first touchdown from South Cassie and a cut down. Great vision, cut back, and the strength and speed to finish through Dotson. He says, hey, keep giving it to me. We talked about the running backs for Kansas as we came on the air, this two-headed monster, yeah. Highshaw and Neal, and Ollie Gordon sitting there going, well, what about me? Yeah. Every o Oklahoma State coach perked up when we brought up Ollie Gordon. He's, he's been awesome, you know, but it obviously hasn't been to this degree thus far. Don't worry, son. You got another half of football to go to. That's right. 24-19 Oklahoma State. Ward's kick. Into the end zone for a touchback. Well, a crazy.
Ring of Fire Eclipse. Back to the outside, Hi Shaw. Still on his feet and then brought down just short of a first down. High Shaw with his first big chunk of the game. He's into positive yardage. High Shaw had a chance. Same play they ran before, just slightly different pulling action. Great job by Reed Adams there on the pull, and High Shaw is a whisker away from a house call. Second and one for Kansas. High shot gets it again, same spot, same big yardage. 11 on that carry for High Shaw. It's just the same pound it, run action, just a downhill, turns into a one on one blocking scheme. Good finish by High Shaw. High Shaw again, across the 50 yard line. Number 20, Daniel High Shaw. These guys are so fun watching them run the football between Devin Neal, Highshaw, and even McDuffie. That's going that they know they're not going to get a ton of carries between the two when they spread it around, and they both take advantage of it. Highshaw heading to the sidelines, bring in Neal. Highshaw springing this offense into Cowboy territory. Cardell in motion. Bean down the middle. A complete good coverage. Trey Rucker step for step with Cardell. Little double move by Cardell. They say, hey, worked with Fairchild. Much better coverage that time by Trey Rucker. Good position, gets a tip on it. Another one of their talented tight ends, 6'5", 255, running a double move downfield. Just a little indication of the versatility of talent at that tight end position. Third and four, they're 50% so far today. They put Fairchild in motion. The blitz pick up by Highshaw. Bean's got to get rid of it. Bean's got the guy! To the house, Quentin Skinner! Back and forth we go in Stillwater. Perfect touch from Bean. That was a great job by Bean, a great reaction. They just cut a guy loose off the right edge. Bean goes, okay, I'll go do this myself. Great job keeping him in bounds. Great job by Skinner staying in bounds. Answer, Jayhawks. Now the eventful play of the PAT. Looks like they're gonna go for two. Missed their last two points yeah. after, yeah. That's a penalty. Yeah. So they had 12 in a huddle right there. Well administered. Jared Casey tried to run off late. 12 in the huddle. Kansas has called their first time out of the half. 30 seconds in lane. That was, a, that was nice by our official, our referee, Kevin Moore. Special teams issues for KU today. An extra point blocked. Fumbled snap. Missing another extra point. Just had 12 men in the huddle. But a smart timeout from Lance Leipold. Yeah, Coach Gundy, I know we'll have a, that same discussion with the referee. And he they broke the huddle with 12. I think what Coach Leipold said, hey, man, we scored a touchdown. We wadded everybody up. But that, they got away with one right there. It's the second time that we've seen some late flags yeah. come out from this officiating crew. Yeah, and he, he was right, 100% right initially. Coach Leipold kind of you know, talked about it. He's a veteran. Going for two. A little man zone indicated right there with that motion by four. A zone coverage by Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Bean, and it's broken up. Xavier Benson got his hand on it. One point lead for Kansas. Oh, by the way, they're going to get the football out of halftime as well. Here's the last touchdown. Beautifully thrown ball by Bean. And yeah, they cut Goodlow loose just right in his face. They got six guys protected, three rushing. Bean has somebody untouched in his face. 
great job putting that ball right in Skinner, in stride, keeping in bounds. Good job by Skinner, getting his eyes back to the Mr. Bean, playing with him, scramble rules, nobody on top of me, I'm gone. Touchdown. And then you do that. Little celebration. Bean's having a great first half. 13 out of 17 for 274 and four touchdowns. Bean had four touchdowns all season through the air. Stark contrast from last week when he only attempted 12 <laughs> passes. Yeah, gonna have to ice that elbow, ice that arm. Put the jacket on, right? Yeah. Presley back deep. Huge kick. And Presley able to jump on it. <laughs> Very interesting end of the wind. All right, let's check in with Mike Hill, see what's coming up on the State Farm Halftime Show. Coming up on the State Farm Halftime, Michigan makes a statement on offense and defense. Florida State aims to remain perfect on the season. And is Alabama lurking as a dark horse in the SEC? Alabama a dark horse? Are they ever a dark horse? I guess this year they are, Jeff and Mark. See you at the half. Thanks so much, Mike. Can you ever call Alabama a dark horse? No. Come on. Well, Bowman with 105 on the clock and all three timeouts. Let's see if they can answer. And then Bowman throws it out of bounds. Gage Keys with the pressure. Was a great job on that pooch kick. To try to limit Oklahoma State's ability to create again momentum with less than a minute left. Challenge Alan Bowman here to, to drive it down and finish the half with points. Free play. Going sideline catch made. Rashad Owens with a big gain on the free play. That's complete to number 10. Upside, defense number nine. That penalty is declined. Result of the play is the first down. You see it right there, and then great recognition. Uh, watch Owens just settle in that sweet spot. Dotson is over the top, preventing the home run. Thought Owens just presents himself. Good spot by Bowman. Good job by Bowman. Knowing it's a free play. Owens has five catches in the first half, and officials stopping play. That's a decline the 10 Oklahoma State off. has elected the option to do not start the clock on that foul. A clock yeah. operator, please put 54 seconds on the game clock. Good call, coach. So it's the, the, the ability to not start it. So it's a version of the 10 second runoff, but yep. a, a version of that. The team deciding to decline the penalty and stop the clock. They get to do that in that situation. Every second so critical. It's the outside. Nice tackle made by Melo Dotson. And there's the timeout. A couple of seconds ticked off. Timeout. Oh, well, a lot of points in this one. 25-24 in this first half. How about 100 <laughs> years ago? First matchup between these two Jayhawks. The Jayhawkers. Beat. The Sooner Aggies. Sooner Aggies. How about that? <laughs> but it was very uninteresting. Great headline. That's what you say about me all the time. Uninteresting. That, that is so not combat. true, Mark. Not true. Ever. No guns up. There's no Sooner in this term anymore. The Sooner Any Aggies. Aggies. Yeah. It's like a swear word. Oh, yeah. You can't get away with saying something like that here in cowboy territory. Pistol Pete would be all over you. Kansas looking for their first win in Stillwater since 2007. It's been a while. They snapped a long losing streak against Oklahoma State last year. Comes down in Lawrence. From their own 48-yard line. Holman gives to Gordon around the left side. 
good for a first down. Clock will stop to reset the chains. Keys on the tackle. Game of seven, Gordon's having a great first half. Don't, don't forget Gordon on the ground, absolutely, if you're Casey Dunn, the offensive coordinator. Looking middle, nearly intercepted. Melo Dotson. I think Bowman was just trying to get rid of that. Not even really giving his guy a chance this time. It's Owens coming on the little dig route, or grab route on the bottom. It's more of a survival throwaway setup and play the second and ten. You can do anything here. You have two timeouts still. Your screen game has been great. Your run game has been great. Gets his two high safeties. Both goals are possible. Wide receiver screen. Good block on the outside and a shoestring tackle made by Kobe Bryant. That could have been a lot worse for Kansas as Oklahoma yes. State takes a timeout. This dude, man, he just he, he just does so many things well. Watch him shed right there. Jaden Bray, if he just blocks him for a half count longer, that's got a chance to be on the safety. Got a chance to make him miss for a touchdown. As it is, that's burn your last timeout. Set up a third down. Great job, Michael Bryant. This is a great system for him, too. Not a, not a press man type of situation they put them in. He plays a cloud coverage a lot. He becomes a great run fit guy. An off corner. We saw him earlier trigger on the ball. He, he dropped it. Could have been a pick six. But great division. It's a great system for him. Third six. To the outside and broken up. <laughs> Melo Dotson, we've been saying his name a ton in this second quarter. Melo says, yeah, Kobe's pretty good. I'm, I'm not bad either. And this one was late. Allen Bowman, a long throw from that far hash, the field out cut. Good job by Brian Borland, defensive coordinator. It's a, another time where they have eyes on the quarterback and a quick trigger from Melo Dotson. Going to go for it on fourth down, fourth and six. With 27 seconds to go and timeout Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State has called their final timeout of the half. 30 seconds timeout. They've been good on fourth down. They're five out of eight on the season. And is Mike Gundy gonna dream up here in this situation? Fourth and six, no more timeouts, 27 seconds to go. Great time for a little double move again. We've seen Kansas is, is very sound, very disciplined, but this is also fourth and six. You're thinking, all right, slant game, RPO, screen, get it out fast. Maybe a little double move to try to get a chunk play. A sneak attack touchdown here to close things out. And they're going to bring or out the punting unit. Punt it. Second look at Hudson Cock. He's the the red zone punter, right? Tight punter. Seven times this year he's been able to pin the return inside the 20. He's gonna do it again. Fair catch call for inside the 15-yard line. Point lead for Kansas, 20 seconds to go. And at halftime, Terry Miller is going to join the Ring of Honor here at Stillwater. Will become the fourth player to join it. Bob Fenimore, Barry Sanders, Thurman Thomas. Only player with three 1,000 yard <laughs> rushing seasons. And he led the Cowboy Walk before the game today. At, at this institution, and the talent at this place, Sanders Thomas, you mentioned it. Whenever it says you're the only guy to do something, you're really good. Going to run it with Neal, brought down at the 15-yard line, a gain of two, and I think that's going to send us to the locker rooms for halftime. Well, we got your points for you. 25-24. Almost 700 combined yards between the two teams in this first half. It's a big 12 shootout in Stillwater. Feels like 2003. Absolutely love it.
25-24 our score after the break. Get you out to L.A. Mike Kittle, Manuel Ancho, and Chris Peterson have the State Farm Halftime Show for you. Take a breather. You're going to need it. Grab some Tums, too. Second half coming your way. Been waiting so long to be where I'm going in the sunshine of your life. Crazy stuff happens with weird moons and eclipses. That's what we're seeing today. 25-24, start of the second half from Oklahoma State. Hi again, everybody. Great to see you, Coach. Didn't great get our on, seen. Didn't get our on camera as we came on open. today, but man, yeah. it was one of your best opens so far. But listen, speaking about opening, Alan Bowman coming out of the gates, firing like the quarterbacks of old here at Oklahoma <laughs> exactly, State. Exactly, yeah. Mason Rudolph, he's, look, he's looking like you. Doing a great job managing things, checking the ball down, screen game. Six touchdowns combined with these two quarterbacks. Jason Bean in Kansas, known for the run game. Here's Bowman being patient. Checking it down to his guy, Presley. That was touchdown number two. Distributing the ball outside RPO game. Get your guy out and running and, and do that. That's it. That's his celebration. Check out today's team comparison is sponsored by T-Mobile. It's better over here. A lot of yards, 321 total for Kansas, 348 for Oklahoma State. Listen, the second quarter was not as good offensively for Oklahoma State. Down by just one. Kansas gets the football coming out of halftime. Yeah, they clamped it down, made some changes. We'll see if Dalton Cooper ever comes back at left tackle. That has made a big difference in terms of pass protection with Springfield and Birmingham in there. And special teams are going to play a key, key factor in the side of this game. Trevor Wilson lets this one sail into the end zone. Kansas threw up a couple of fun plays to their tight end. Mason Fairchild, coach, let's go inside the film room. Great design here. Mason Fairchild is off the ball. Both these receivers at the bottom are on the ball. A big run, run set, run set, stop the run. Oh, no, Kendall Daniels, eyes in the backfield. Great execution, great design. One of two touchdowns from that same spot for Mr. Fairchild. Oklahoma State did a pretty good job bottling up the run. Neal had just 39 yards on 10 rushes. Highshaw had 19 on the ground on five. Play action, Bean going for the edge. Bean's got that edge. And near a first down. Bean is one of the fastest players on the roster. First time that he's had positive yardage on the ground. Yeah, it's great execution. Read it with him. You see Walter Shot clamping down in there. Casey escorting him to the perimeter. Nice first down game for Bean. That's what we're used to. Not the four touchdowns going yard. 274 four scores. Bean, first time he's had positive yards on the ground. Snap action, Bean to the outside, incomplete. Try to get it to Luke Grimm. It's third down and three. Just a little late, just a simple little flat route. Try to convert that, now that sets up a third. It's still manageable, we're still in there. We can run our option, run our offense game. But Bean can tell, just got, got away from it right there. Setback trips on the bottom side of your screen. Wilson in motion. And Wilson is wide open. First down, Kansas, and more. Maybe a foot out of bounds at the 38 yard line. They love the pre snap motion. <laughs> they do the most in the country. It's the back and forth, the in, the out, crossing the ball, coming back, and it's speed to the flat. Great timing. Nice design. That's the flat route and just cleats out of bounds from Trevor Wilson. You can see it right there. Seven on seven. Epps on the spot. Second catch from Wilson. His other went for a score. Bean back to pass again. Getting flushed out. That falls down. He'll lose a yard. 
Corey Black, great job right there. That's just like playing playing basketball, right? They can play some great defense there at Kansas. Corey Black just squares him up and escorts him out of bounds. That was a one-on-one -on -one situation. If he makes him miss, it's that 10-6. Watch him come out on the perimeter. Possible hold they got away with. One-on-one, -on -one. square up. Proud basketball program here in Cowboy Country as well. Brian Reeves. Break it backboards. That's right. Fairchild the motion man, Bean. Looks to the outside, catch made. Lawrence Arnold with the reception, gain of three yards. Remember, he left at one point in the second quarter, got his ankle wrapped, seems to be doing okay. Another motion. Turns into a four-layer route with the back in the backfield. You see ne uh, Neil. Nice job again, Lawrence. Lawrence Arnold does not look 100. percent That's a great job, just presenting himself, running almost like a tight end choice route right there. I haven't said the name Cameron Epps very much. He made the tackle. Third and seven. They go up the outside again. That's Wilson. Wilson. He's got the first down. Epps on the stop. This would be a great matchup all day long. Epps on Wilson, seven on seven. Saw for a first down a couple plays ago. Just a little return route. That gives Trevor Wilson the ability to do that, just that. Create like a protected situation for the out route. And he signals it for us, first down. Wilson with three catches, one for his score, the other two third down pickups for first downs. There's an unbalanced look. All four eligibles are down here. Bean hits Arnold and brought down near the marker. They're going fast here. It's another empty, empty play here. They hit the home run earlier to Fairchild. This more conventional. Second and very short. Bean going end zone. Got him again. Quentin Skinner, second of the game. And great protection. Trey Rucker just drops him in coverage. Watch it here. It's three man rush. He recognizes. He said, hey, I've thrown four touchdown passes. No one believes the fifth is coming. And Rucker just stops in coverage. Watch him. Nine just settles his feet and stops on the play. Skinner to the end zone. And the adventurous extra point. The point up and good. Skinner, two catches, 91 yards, two touchdowns. KU off and running in the second half. Thirty-two, twenty-four, Kansas on the road. They have not had a lot of plays in their opponent's territory today, but boy, have they been fruitful when they've done so. They have made the most of it. Chuck plays to Fairchild. That well-designed play, Skinner on Rucker, just chunk after chunk. Well, one of the big things that we were talking to the coaching staff on both teams was limiting the big plays. Yeah. We've seen nothing but big plays. Right. <laughs> yeah, Coach Nardo, defense coordinator for Oklahoma State, his number one bullet point stopped the run. Number two bullet point for him was we can't let explosive plays turn into touchdowns. Five of seven, not the percentage you wanted. Take Brown to kick it away. And it's into the end zone for a touchback. So Ollie Gordon sets up shop again. He has had a great day, the running back for Oklahoma State. Nearly 180 total yards for Gordon. He's got two scores, one on the ground, one through the air. I mean, you're talking some some serious yardage there on a day where they retired the number of Terry Miller, talking names of Thurman Thomas and Barry Sanders. He's having a Hall of Fame type of day. Pass on first down. Owens makes the catch out to the 30-yard line. Yeah, he's making all these great names, these Hall of Fame names. Proud today, right there, nice little drive starter getting Owens the ball on a hitch. Hey, Bowman 
Pitches out to Gordon. He's got the edge. Gordon stays on his feet and just does step out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Yeah, you, you said it. Just the edge of that clean out of bounds. Great job building a wall. Watch him pin and pull. Does a good job staying in bounds initially, and then just that right. Four foot? Is that the four foot? What is that? It's out. With a good seal block by Jake Schultz to spring him free. Cassidy in motion. Give to Gordon again. Cassidy leading the way and brought down to the backfield. Gage Keys able to wrestle Gordon down. Zero Molly Gordon straight ahead. Going fast here from Oklahoma State. Kansas definitely at halftime had a Gordon discussion. Empty backfield, Gordon is going to get it on the outside across the 50 and into Kansas territory and a little after. That's such a tight sideline here. Guys get, you know, thrown into the bench, throwing it, looking at the coolers bumped out that much for, further. Got the equipment boxes there. There's always a little extra emotion. Offense number five, five-yard penalty, repeat second down. Take it all the way is... Jaden Bray. Oh. So just must have not, whether it's an illegal motion or an illegal shift, they were shifting out to an empty look and just must have not gotten set because there was no true motion on that play. Coach Gundy can't believe it. Elijah Collins in the backfield. <laughs> Oklahoma State had touchdowns on their first two drives of the first half. One score since Bowman slings to the outside. Presley's got the catch. Brings up third down and manageable. Gain of eight for Presley. Six catches for the senior. Nice timing there by Bowman again. Started with the protection. Dalton Cooper is not in there. So we have Springfield playing left tackle. Birmingham playing right tackle. And the same starting group with Brooks Mahalski and Wilson inside. Low snap. Bowman gets rid of it wide open. First down. It's Brennan Presley again. Back to back catches for number 80. That one 13 yards and a first down. Again, the key to this is the timing. Watch it present himself. It's third and five. A little option route. He works to the flat. Zoning that up. Great job by Preston. Outside, Owens. Made a man miss. And just out of bounds. Wishing this game was played in Canada. They'd have, they'd have multiple touchdowns. They would always <laughs> tiptoe on the sidelines. Shot Owens is fun to watch. Fun to watch these guys block for each other out here on the perimeter. Owens up and over 100 yards. It's the first 100 yard receiver of the season. Josiah Johnson doing a great job blocking. Might have gotten away with a little tug. Levin's racing. Play action, just flip it out of bounds. Live to see another play, second down and 10. Yep, nothing there. Trying to get a little high low to the boundary. They had the over the top part of that double team. Good job by. Alan Bowman, just as you said, living to fight another play. 300 yards through the air today for Bowman. Tenth career 300-yard game for Bowman, his first at Oklahoma State. Texas Tech and Michigan transfer. Get to Gordon. Left side springing through the block and brought down. Rich Miller able to bring him down. Birmingham and Springfield. Tommy Dunn Jr. Watch 92 dent this back. They, they twist it. He shows up, spills it to the back of going fast. Outside look. Brennan Presley, another first down. See how this Kansas team makes you earn it. Chunk. Just chunk, 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 bubble. Over the ball routes, five yards, choices, bubbles. Good job staying patient here by Oklahoma State. Really impressive drive. Gordon over the left guard. 
Bottled up, short gain on first down. And a healthy dose of Gordon. Gordon with that run over 100 yards on the ground. He's almost got 100 yards receiving as well. Gordon on the pitch. Bottled up. Four Jayhawks in the neighborhood, including Patrick Joyner. Yeah, Joyner just does a great job of taking the tight end into the backfield, letting his guys come in support. Watch him right here on the edge against 16. Josiah Johnson just presses him. He says, come on, guys. Yeah, Logan, that's all on the scene. Third down and eight. The team that settled for field goals last week, they found the end zone three different times. Outside, good catch, but he's short. The, that's the spot in this scheme where you can throw the field flat is unaccounted for. That's by design. That's a long, hard throw, and it still sets up for down a couple little boos here as Coach Gunny sends on sends on the field goal team. It was Owens who made the catch. And they'll bring on Alex Hale, made from 28 earlier. On his six yard attempt from Hale. And he is true. Score, score, punch, counter punch. Fun one in Stillwater. 32 27. Jayhawks and Cowboys. Shootout. Cowboy country. Well, Mike's line want our producer perfect for the classical music reference and all of this action <laughs> pre-snap motion Kansas offense behind Lance Leipold it has been poetry in motion so far in 2023 they've got a five-point lead about to get the football back returnable Trevor Wilson up the gut and gets near the 30-yard line. All right, so we talked about the motion. How about the motion on the last drive? Yeah, the first one here, just a, a little effect on the play. Gets Bean, the edge, and I, and I do love the classical music. Nice little in and out from Trevor Wilson. Speed to the flat on third down conversion, and then they go fast. Tempo on the line of scrimmage, empty. Three to the boundary. You know you got one-on-one -on -one with this safety. A little grab route. Post out over the top. Great, great recognition. Great design for the touchdown. Hand off to Neal, able to slither his way for a couple on first down. I give you that right there. That there was motion, and that's just such great recognition by both defense and offense. That should have been a tackle for loss. Neal puts his foot in the ground, kind of overlays that guy, gets north, gets three. Conversation about the running game. Kansas has rushed for just 56 yards. At 399 last week. Got him. He's the story. Gets Wilson again. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Is that Todd Reese? No. It's Jason Bean. Little corner route. Predetermined rollout play. Great job getting his hips dialed into his targets. Watch him work to the left. Little hard sell play action with the counter action. Nice design. First down. I mentioned Reesing. He's the last Kansas quarterback to beat Oklahoma State in Stillwater. It's 2007. That's what's on the line. Play action. Bean is dropped. And Xavier Benson coming in from his linebacker position. Loss of seven. Right, our defensive coordinator says, all right, we've seen it up. There's our three-man front, and we're coming. It's Oliver draws the protection, and Benson finishes the deal.
second down and 17. Dean goes to the outside again. It's been open all day. Grimm with the catch out of bounds. Third down and manageable, and yet again, more motion. Yeah, shift, motion, get to the unbalanced here. Everybody eligible is on that side. Now a hard sell, play action pass. There's the flat route that they wanted earlier. Easy pitch and catch to Grimm. Second catch for Grimm. Third down and four for one of the best third down teams in the country. Came in with just over 53% conversion rate. Six out of nine on the afternoon. Bean gonna carry. He's got the first down and so much more over the right side. First down, bitch. <laughs> There's a first down. Five man rush. Watch Bean. Little predetermined QB draw. You see the back picking it up there. High Shaw doesn't use all the Jets, but they're in business in the red zone at the 18. 21 yard rush, longest run of the game for Kansas. Another big play. Delay handoff, Neal. Gain of one. Got an unbalanced look. Just a little sprint draw action, trying to get Neal poking there, trying to get Oklahoma State defending all of these shot passes that Bean has hit. They don't, they eat the run. And every one of those miscues on the PATs, the field goals are weighing on that man right here. All right, third down, fourth down, what are we thinking? says not tonight. Oklahoma State picks up their first interception of the ball game. And the first one thrown by Bean. This is good coverage by Daniels. Absolutely. We talked about him earlier giving up the touchdown. Here he is. Great job jumping inside the hip pocket of Trevor Wilson and playing underneath it. Well done, Kendall Daniels. Gordon pushing the pile for a gain of eight. It's the first red zone turnover for Kansas this year. It's their first trip to the red zone today. We've seen so many big plays go for scores for Kansas. That's it. That's a simple one right there if you're Jason Bean. You just got to throw that to the back pylon. Throw it to the back pylon, throw it up in the stands, and play the next play. Easy, easy correction. Gordon again. Gordon lowers his head for a first down near the 40-yard line. And he just lost his footing. You see why this like this guy so much, why they love this guy so much. 6-1, 2 11 the football factory of Ulysses Trinity. He's averaging better than seven yards a carry today. He's doing what Kansas normally does. Yes. as well play action he picked up the blitz this time as Owens makes the catch Pass complete to number 10 Rashad Owens wrapped up by 44 Cordell Wheeler made the stop on Owens time winding down in this third quarter and we will head to the fourth a little bit more of a quiet third quarter saddle up fourth quarter coming it's Stillwater Sing along with us. <laughs> we were all singing along. Friends in low places. 
Fourth quarter, five-point lead for Kansas. Oklahoma State is on the move. 43-yard line, and they're still jamming. Gordon on the tote, and he's got another first down. Quarterbacks have been awesome today. Jason Bean, one mistake, the last interception leading to this drive. Alan Bowman has been clean today. A couple of scores and has made all the right decisions. Yeah, these last two games are the best I've ever seen Alan Bowman play. He's really putting it together. And a ton of credit to this guy, Alan Gordon. Gordon going left side. Got a crease on his feet, just out of bounds after he passed the 30 yard line. Big block by Braden Cassidy to spring him free. Yeah, you see 90 right there. You saw him on the cut block earlier. Nice job on the perimeter. That's green, eight. Got Bray down here at the very bottom, and green on the inside. Nice job on the escort. Gordon nearing 150 yards, getting a little blow on sidelines. Nixon in the backfield. Nixon gets it. Same big hole. Nixon just tripped up at the five-yard line. Burroughs saved a touchdown for the time being. 27 yards cash for Jaden Nixon. Another counter version like we saw earlier, saw all last week with RPOs. This is a give all the way. Great execution up front. Great finish by Jaden Nixon. Hold on to that rock. And now sub out for Ollie Gordon and see if they can finish the deal in the end zone for the OSU faithful. First and goal from the three. Gordon's got it and dropped. Kenny Logan for a loss of two. So good. If you're, if you're a Jayhawk fan, watch Kenny Logan on the edge of your screen on the right side. Just keeps coming, keeps coming, takes another step, wraps him up. That's a solo tackle. He doesn't know if those other guys are going to be able to get there. Great finish. Logan on Gordon. Rare tackle for loss today against Oklahoma State. Trips out to the right. Play clock winding down, able to get rid of it. Gordon stuffed. Maybe one. Slightly different formation that time than Oklahoma State has used this year this year in these situations. We asked both Coach Dunn and Coach Gundy, what are we gonna do differently? They said we're gonna see some G schemes, some slightly different variations. That was just good old tried and true inside zone for nothing. Switch up the personnel on third and goal down by five. Ninth play of the drive. Play clock is getting into that yellow zone. Gonna have to use a timeout. Oklahoma State has called their first timeout of the half. 30 seconds. Correction. Media timeout. Correction. Take a quick timeout. Got third and goal from the four-yard line. See what Mike Gundy comes up with. Eleven forty-one to go in the fourth quarter. Got a good one. That's slide pulled by Gundy. Both teams trying to get another victory under their belt. And Oklahoma State knocking on the door. Third down and goal from the four-yard line. Can the Jayhawks get a big stop and force a field goal? Just had an interception in the red zone. Moment to pass and complete. <laughs> See Kenny yeah, Logan there with his he elbows saw, on he his saw, knees, oh, man. It, the ball went right to him. It was like he'd run in the route. He could have watched number one here, played defense with him. He's on the backside of this route combination. Nothing. He's responsible for that vertical right at him. He should have the eyes on the quarterback. And that should have been a pick six. See if that comes back to haunt them later. 21-yard field goal attempt. Hale had one blocked last week from short distance. 
Seen some weird stuff on kicks today. Nothing weird about that. Field goal is good to make it a two-point ball game. Interception leads to three. Daniels had the pick. Oklahoma State down by two. Got a nice double dip following us in Stillwater on FS1. First K-State battles Texas Tech. Then we got a Mountain West after dark as Boise State takes on Colorado State from Fort Collins. All coming up right here on FS1. Speaking of good ones. Yeah, those are two great games, but we got a really good one right here. Pistol Pete's fired up for this fourth quarter finish. Look at all the plays Oklahoma State has run in this game. Wilson. Back to receive, had a good return on the last one, and he is swallowed up after he passes the 25-yard line. And Jason Bean takes the field again, a career-high five touchdowns today. Yeah, Mr. Bean has been phenomenal, keeping his eyes downfield there to Trevor Wilson that time. Finishing for the touchdown, a couple kind of trick to Mason Fairchild, one out of empty look. This time out of an un unbalanced hard sell play action. This is a great spot throwing catch from Skinner. And then another one to Skinner. Setting up this two point tight finish. Set up the screen and it's snuffed out beautifully. Colin Oliver on the stop. Neal made the catch for a short gain of one. Yeah, that play was set up perfectly. It was perfect. Michael Ford Jr. was there. And a better play by the Oklahoma State defense. Tempo sugar huddle here. Being all down and roll. He's going deep. Wilson, he had the wind at his back, and it sailed on him. Wilson had a step. Oh, yeah, you're exactly right, throwing with the big old. Prairie wind, watch seven. The tempo sugar huddle out of it. Little corner post and he is clean. Great design. Two Cowboys saying, yeah, we had it all the way. Brings up a third down and nine. Bean had a tip, it's intercepted again. by Justin Kirkland. Back-to-back -back drives end in picks. Now it's 97. They run a little twist game, and then he punches out in a zone drop right underneath it. Perfectly designed by Brian Nardo, the defensive coordinator, right underneath the route. Chance to take the lead again for Oklahoma State. They start at the 29-yard line for Kansas. Gordon <laughs> swallowed up in the backfield. DJ Withers, as well as Austin Booker. You know, money on the line right here. That it's going to be Gordon. Kansas full sellout mode to stop the run. John Bowman, he'll take care of the rock. Is going into the wind if they're kicking this direction. Probably not quite in a comfortable field goal situation with that win today. Give to Gordon again. And wrapped up. Rich Miller, good tackle. Bringing down Gordon, third down. Rich Miller has done, been, been playing so well. He's the quarterback of the defense, kind of their prototypical. Mike Linebacker. Uh -oh. In the middle! And that one is dropped right in the breadbasket of Kenny Logan. That's the second time as he is down, or he had the coverage in the end zone on the third down play. Pressure on Bowman. The over the ball route is doubled. 
He tries to force it anyway. And Logan, not only the pride and the miss on the interception, but he is down. Hopefully he'll bounce back up and he'll be back to Stillwater. Kenny Logan, who went down on that last play, able to get helped off. And walk back to his bench under his own power. Going to have a 43-yard field goal attempt from Alex Hale to try and give Oklahoma State the lead. Yeah, this kid has a ton of leg plenty for this. Just a matter of judging that wind. And 43 for the lead. Hale he is good. No good, excuse me. No good. Pushed it out to the right. Got to start it off right. Was hoping for that normal right to left of that that type of kicker. It just hung out pro uh, probably again due to that stiff. But on that drive, they've been hanging on field goals for a while. This time from Hale, as you mentioned, he was trying to play the cut, never cut for him. Kansas with Bean outspread. Neal, Wildcats, and there he goes, left side, out to midfield. First big chunk on the ground today for Kansas. Nice little change up, a first play of the drive, change up a Wildcat play. As we see a Cowboy down up top, that's Colin Oliver who went down. A great drive starter and a chunk play for Devin Neal. Colin Oliver has had a great day defensively. Being attended to on the far side of the field. Neal finally able to spring one free. Longest run of the game at 23 yards, and we'll see what happens. It's coming from the backside, right to left, number 30, and just... Mm. Trips over his own man who's getting blocked. Good to see him up. First time we've seen Kansas go to that Wildcat. Bean was on the bottom side of your screen and so clean in his last few ball games throwing the football. Two picks in the last two drives, one in the red zone. Kansas still under 100 yards rushing. Remember, they put up 399 against UCF last week. Bean to throw. Catch on the outside. Brought down to the 30-yard line. Trevor Cardell and a flag comes in late. Beautiful play design. Lance Leipold. No. No. They're conferring what it is on the back end. It might have been defensive holding. No. No. Long conversation. No. No. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, offense number four, 15 yard penalty, first down. It's Devin Neal. Rasmus has just been a little overzealous in the finish. That's him up top. Outside coming outside in you see number four well, Certainly not on number four must have been right there on Luke Grimm number 11 <laughs> Again of 20 with the penalty makes it a net five yard. That was game. a weird one. That didn't look malicious in any way And it didn't really look that late. That's just hard to figure out where that ball was down and where the contact was High shot on the backfield from the 45-yard line. High shot. 
Bounces to the edge and picks up five on first down. A little bit of an awkward exchange that time by Bean and Highshaw. It looked like an RPO type of action. And it almost looked like he was trying to pull it, throw that to somebody, but there's nobody to throw to. Second down at five. Highshaw has been bottled up. Six rushes for 24 yards for Highshaw. Give it to Highshaw again. Tries the right side. Short gain. Brings up third down at four. Great job overlapping that time for Oklahoma State's defense. Scott just doing a great job that time. Tanaka Scott on the blocking. Gets bounced all the way to the corner, but sets up a third of four. Seven of 11 so far on third down for Kansas. Here's the pre-snap motion. And off high shot. Man to beat. Couldn't beat him. Wonderful tackle on the outside by Corey Black. Just, just bounce. Watch High Shaw tries to cut it back. And he says, I gotta take this back out the front side. You couldn't dial it up better if you're a Kansas offensive staff saying, hey, we're gonna have the corner blocked. Corey Black play, Corey Black plays off the blocker and gets him to the ground. Got a timeout on the field. Highshaw coming off of the Oklahoma State bench with no helmet on. You know, fourth and five. I mean, from the 40-yard line, you want to go for a short punt. Do you go for it on fourth down? It's a big decision, coach. Yeah, get, uh, right here, hard, if you're not going to go for it, hard count the heck out of it right here. Try to get a free five. If you're going to punt it, you can make that decision after that. They got a ton of great offense to get that five yards. Just going with the wind. Just one of six on fourth down this year. There's the hard count and a jump, but not enough. Balls out. Balls out again. Recovered by Kansas. Remember, he left this ball game for a brief amount of time, came back, he had the pressure, and Oklahoma State gives themselves great field position. Yeah, Coach Leipold can't believe it. He said, hey, they're off sides. They had two guys move, but I, the, the defender to the, the top field side field was not defense. off sides. He can't believe it. We'll have to take a look at the guy at the bottom of the defense. If he was in the neutral zone, but you got to finish the play. If you're not one million percent sure, watch defenders on both sides jump that one on the nose. Probably not. It was Colin Oliver who ends up forcing the fumble. He was the guy who might have been in the neutral zone. The ruling on the field was a fumble. With the fourth down fumble roll in play, the ball will be spotted at the 50-yard line. First down, Oklahoma State. Yeah, so the fumble backward as the offense looks at it. Backward, they get every bit of that. And Oklahoma State will start first and 10 at the 50. Missed the field goal on the last drive. Bowman set up shot. Give to Gordon. Gordon nearing another first down. He's at the 42 yard line again to be. Guess who, right? <laughs> Exhaust every bit of energy that Ollie Gordon has on this drive. Gordon gets it again, this time brought down in the backfield. Gage Keys. Third down and short. <laughs> well, uh, disagreement with the officials there on the sideline, let's just say. Third and short, Gordon lowers his head, picks up a first down, that first burst. Josiah Johnson with a big block to get that first down. Great job. Base play. A little slant play. Or sorry, this turns into counter. I'm sorry. Guard to the backside. Tied in that time. Josiah Johnson 
Great execution, first and ten. Gordon again. Fourth straight run, pushed forward for three. Just on that fringe of field goal range again, again into the wind. Going this direction at this point, 515, not even thinking about that. If you're Coach Gundy. This first half was dominated by the passing game. Second half has been dominated by Gordon. 104 yards on the ground in this second half. Play action. Bowman flushed out. Set the screen. There's Gordon. Gordon inside the 20-yard line before he's finally brought down. 19 yards. Perfect screen call. Run it. Run it. Run it. Fake it to that guy. Throw it back to that guy. Big bodies out in front. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. First and 10 at the 18. Great call. Great job of Alan Bowman getting that out right as he takes a shot. Miller missed the shot. Joyner brought him down. First Oklahoma State runner with 100 rush yards and 100 receiving yards since 1990. Play clock winding down. Snap it away with two. Get it to Nixon up the middle. Nixon brought down. Six on first for Nixon. 30 pound differential between Nixon and Gordon. But he runs just as big in these situations. Jake Schultz in a cowboy back. A, you know, the Oklahoma State word for a H back tight end, fullback type character. Bringing the beef with Schultz and Cassidy both in there. This was kick, quick game earlier. Is this a double move right here or just straight from the right? Running with Nixon. Slip one tackle. Devin Phillips was the first one to get his hands on him. A gain of two yards. Everybody, the 10 yard line. Everybody in this stadium, I think, looking over and saying, hey, is, is Gordon good? That was still. That was a good run that time by Nixon. Shed that first tackler. Setting up third and two. Still Nixon in the backfield. Nixon gets it. Left side. He's down to the six-yard line. Booker saved a potential touchdown. Cassidy with another good lead block. Set a great job on the front side of it. Get the backside pullers. Nixon putting his foot in the ground, getting the first down. Time for a timeout. Kansas. Two point lead for Kansas. Oklahoma State is knocking on the door, though. Just picked up a big first down. Kansas used their first timeout. Bean, five touchdowns, but a couple of picks. And then on the last drive, went for it on fourth down and fumbled it. Nixon is the back for Oklahoma State. Another trip into the red zone for the Cowboys. Get to the outside. Convoy for Presley. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma sets up the Oklahoma State sets up the two-point conversion. Just a straight jet sweep action. Well timed here by Bowman getting your guy the ball in space. Brennan Presley does it again. Nice job on the perimeter. You've got Bray, you've got Cassidy finishing the deal. Tackle your guy to the end zone. Now they go for two. Right, and it's picked off. Yeah. Kenny Logan, who went down earlier, he picks that one off. Could have gone the other way for two, the additional two, but that, that would have been a tough one right there. With Brennan, the momentum. Brennan Presley 
who's been running the ball. He's been all over the place today. Presley, eight catches, 79 yards, and a score through the air. Now a rushing touchdown. Cowboys have the lead. 2.33 to go. Lance Leipold and the Jayhawks going to try and pull off a comeback. Last drive for the Jayhawks got stalled on a couple of big plays. This was one of them. Call for an unsportsmanlike conduct. And a dead ball foul. That's the key there. It wasn't dead ball. It was clean. It wasn't a crack back block. This one right here, I, I, don't, I don't think he's offside. I think I thought Oliver stayed onside. That's where Bean has to take care of the rock. Finish that play. Two key, key, key moments. Yeah, that was the fourth down play. Yeah. Ended up resulting in a fumble and a short field for Oklahoma State. So now 2.33 to go. Bean has had a great game. Five touchdowns. The running game has started to gain a little bit of traction here. But for Kansas, they've got two timeouts left. They have missed some opportunities. Two picks. They've missed an extra point. They have failed twice on two-point conversions. And a couple of missed opportunities to intercept the ball. From the 35-yard line. Bean flushed out, Bean dropped. Nick Martin, no gain, second down and 10. Another big day for him, not 700 tackles like last week, but Bean feels the pressure with the twist, flushes it right up to the awaiting Martin. Just, and rush. just able to get a man off the field and it's knocked down. Colin Oliver's been all over the field in the second half. Great design again, a three-man rush. 30 kind of shows, gets a little reroute, and just sits in the zone underneath Fairchild. Fairchild was triangulated right there, three around him. Fairchild had the big first half, five catches, 95 yards, shut out in the second half. Third and 10, the Jayhawks. Set up the screen, it's Neal. Cowboys able to short. stop him a yard short. That's yes. forced the timeout. I mean, how yeah. did Neal turn that into a gain of nine? They can't block Oliver. Great. Let him run by you, set up the screen. And yeah, that looks like a no gain. Sheds it, sheds it. Great physical finish. Daniels getting him to the ground. Time out, Kansas. For second of the half, 30 Good job. second timeout. Good job getting inside those kickout blocks by Neal, and it all comes down to this. And fourth down and one for Lance Leipold, trying to pull off a victory for Kansas in Stillwater. Hasn't happened since 2007. Number four, Kansas came in to Stillwater and took down Oklahoma State. Todd Reesing threw for 318 and three scores. One yard, one for seven on fourth down this year. Little sugar huddle. They're gonna break out fast and run something. No kneel in. And beat it and knocked down. Kendall Daniels, who had the interception earlier at the goal line, got his hand on it. Great defense, right? in Bean's kitchen. They had nothing to the flat. This is the same concept they ran earlier. They hid Casey. He ran to the flat. You could see him covered. That was eaten up in the flat. Bishaw tries to come out and help. Great stop. Coach Leipold knows that's a tough, tough situation right now. You still have two timeouts. Kansas trying to bleed some clock from the 34 yard line. Under center goes Bowman. Head off to Gordon. Rips his way near the 25 yard line. There's their last time out. Had used that on the previous offensive drive, and this whole stadium jacked to see him back out there. 
Kansas has used their final time out of the half. 30 seconds to win. Check out tonight's Smokin' Player of the Game, sponsored by Old Trapper. What's your beef? No beef with Ollie Gordon today. 165 yards on the ground, 116 through the air, two touchdowns total. He has been a maniac. Yeah, you see the variation of scheme of getting him the ball. Great job from the very start of the game, getting that guy involved on the screen pass. You got your guy Brennan Presley involved in multiple ways. Great use of playmakers today by offensive coordinator Casey Dunn. For Kansas on the other side of the football, their offense, they were moving. They could do anything they wanted offensively, but the last four possessions, two ended in interceptions, one of those in the red zone, and then two turnovers on downs. Went to the air on a fourth and one from one of the best rushing teams in the country. They cannot stop the clock again. Give it to Gordon. Plows his way. Close to a first down. They're going to mark him about a half a yard short. And a feel for Bean, who has had a remarkable day for Kansas. Second half, the defense for Oklahoma State has uh, stepped up. It's turned into goal line drill right there. Great effort on both sides. You pick up a half a yard for Oklahoma State. And it's victory formation. Trying to continue the dominance in Stillwater over KU. And they're going to take their second time out of the half. Perfect, perfectly milked right there by that man. Using that last timeout. Second, or, second half. timeout. 30 seconds. Coming up next for Oklahoma State. They had a, a bye early. Go to West Virginia. A couple of home games against Cincy. And then Bedlam comes up November the 4th. Finish with two out of the last three on the road. This will be a big victory for Oklahoma State. One and one in the conference. They've been really good against the AP Top 25, too, since 2011, 35 and 25. Kansas coming in at number 23 in the country. Jumped out to the big lead, 14-0. Kansas, it looked like, had all the momentum until the turnovers started to pop up. A half a yard away from a victory. Give it to Gordon, and he's stuffed. Well, fourth down, and KU still a little bit of breathing. Yep. So they'll do the same thing. Oklahoma State will milk it all the way down. You see a goal line defense here from Kansas. Good job, Tommy Dunn Jr., among many others on the finish. Phillips in on it as well. Let that clock lead down as long as they can. There's that last time out. Well, you go for it here on fourth and one, and you try and kick a field goal. Oklahoma State is the final time out. The way field goals have gone seconds. today or looked today for both sides. No. And find a way to give it to Gordon, see if he can earn that first down, end the game, put it in the hands of Jason Bean, who's been a little inconsistent on the day. And we've talked about the missed opportunities for Kansas. There's a block point after that followed a penalty, a missed. And then the two-point conversion that was missed. And a couple of picks, this one coming in the red zone. They're one trip into the red zone into that interception. A lot of big plays for Jason Bean and company, but and they're going to kick it. This is a huge kick from Hale. Missed earlier. That was from 43. This is from 42. Missed the last one wide to right. Sorry, I was just counting up these Kansas players. <laughs> they thought they had too many as well. to make it a seven-point game. Hale. Right down.
down the pipe. Five field goals last week. <laughs> yeah, he would be happy to get PATs more than these field goals. Great execution right here. Going to set up another squib or pooch type of situation. Both teams have used earlier, but great job making that adjustment off that push. Four field goals today and for Mike Gundy. Seven point lead. Oklahoma State trailed this game 32-24. They have scored the last 15 points and still an opportunity for Kansas. Not a great one, but they've got life. See how well the Cowboys have done against ranked opponents, especially at home. Yeah, a little darkness kind of coming in right here and still water and the Jayhawk chances. Kicking into the wind is Logan Ward. Yeah, their best case scenario here. Yeah, they'll probably put it on the ground to not do this, but the, the pooch that they've done a couple times earlier, third catch it, get a chance to get two plays, depending on where this ball ends up. Time comes off the clock, so 75 yards. Here we go. So who ends up going in here at Oklahoma State on the defensive secondary? Epps has been in and out. Looks like he's back in here in a victory type formation. Got your speed rushers in up front, bringing three. Everybody else playing prevent, protect the sideline mode. No timeouts. Bean flushed out. Bean. Catch incomplete. In and out of the hands of Lawrence Arnold. Bean went down. And Corey Black again on the coverage. Bean gives him a shot to make a play, but Black finishes the deal. Had some immediate pressure right his face. It's one thing about pulling guys in that situation. You have a short edge for the offensive line in space. That leads for a little traffic right in Bean's face. Six seconds likely. The last shot. Defenders all the way back on the 30-yard line for Oklahoma State. Bean flushed again. Bean brought down. There's Martin. He seals the deal for the Cowboys. Oklahoma State defends their home turf for the seven-point win over Kansas. Mike Gundy does it again, man. You see these guys up and down and up and down. A couple of weeks ago, he was talking about how awful the coaches were, himself included. The players were in that two-game losing streak, but South Alabama, Iowa State comes back and rocks K-State and beats a ranked Kansas at, at home. Just an unbelievable win. When we talked about Martin and all of his prowess, 17 tackles a week ago. He was all over Bean the last two. He was fine being up right there. That guy can roll. We talked about his ability to come sideline to sideline. Doesn't show up any better than that forced fumble on the last play of the game. Celebration in Stillwater. Oklahoma State scored the last 15 in this ball game. Six straight wins against ranked opponents in Stillwater. Oh, what a fun one here today at Oklahoma State. Final score 39-32 for Mark Helfrich and our entire crew. I'm Jeff Levering saying good evening from Stillwater. Send you back to L.A. for more college football coverage.